How's it going, guys? You look amazing today, and you are amazing. <laughs> for watching and this is student pilot tv number two welcome if you like this video please give it a like and also subscribe so you never miss a tip on getting into aviation mm. today i want to discuss is becoming a private pilot hard the knowledge part not the flying part so i have been studying because i am not a private pilot yet so that's why i'm studying for private pilot i want to share my opinion on the knowledge about how, what kind of level is it and that's only my opinion but maybe yours is different so we can discuss this is a discuss question and so the first thing i want to say that my background i didn't come from a background which i study like physics mathematics science everything and so i think this will relate to you guys maybe because not all of you study like mechanical things so let's get started so i'm gonna break this topic into five different parts Dun. aerodynamic math regulation engine system and weather start from the first one let me get my example we use this book i think a lot of people use this book so maybe it's a good book i guess so things like this so the aerodynamic could be why can the airplane fly so this related to the high pressure and low pressure wind going through your wings and therefore it creates lift in the airplane and this is like a physics thing this is things you need to know so the other example i can give is the four left turn tendency why the airplane when you put full power the airplane will try to go to the left so it's torque gyroscopic precession p factor and spiraling split stream i mean you'll learn this but i'm just giving you an example you can understand this i think this kind of knowledge level is in high school because if you study then you will understand and you'll learn a lot of things like center of gravity and drag so these are a few examples of aerodynamics so the math the math part would be you want to calculate your weight and balance your distance, your fuel, your wind, doing your flight plan, also your center of gravity. And I haven't gone to flight planning yet. I know a little bit of things. If you want to know your fuel, you need to know how far you're going and how long you're gonna take to get there, things like that. And I think you learned that in maybe middle school or elementary school. And so the thing they use is a flight computer to calculate everything. This looks really complicated for me as well because I haven't learned yet. So all my seniors told me once you get used to this then it will be so much easier to use and you'll be so fast because it, it can use it, it can calculate so many things. You need to know how, like how to calculate the distance. Time times how fast you're going. And that equals your distance. I can talk about math part and flight planning part more as I learn them and because I haven't gone to that stage yet so I'm gonna just keep it right here I don't wanna give you guys like incorrect information and the next one would be regulation so the regulation would be this big far aim all the regulation is in here so for private pilot there's some regulation you need to know but not a lot but if you're going to check right and you don't know you can you can find it here and but you need to know how to use it I think for regulation, it's just need to remember it and remember is the hardest thing I think in this whole process and so the regulation example would be when can you carry a passenger when he or she is on drug in an emergency or they are under proper medical care so this book is just you need to memorize it and it's not hard the next thing would be engine system and pilot operating handbook and with that's POH, which is this book right here. This book is all about your aircraft. Depend on which aircraft you're using. Mine is Cessna 172, so I got the Cessna POH. And inside it tells the limitations and how the engine works, how the fuel fuel system works, the vacuum system, everything, everything like that. And most of the time you need to really know this book and because the, on your check ride they will 
ask you about your Cessna so it kind of looks like this this is the fuel system so just some quick notes in this book like you need to know your speeds like your flap extend speed, maximum structural cruising speed, never exceed speed, things like that it's all about how your Cessna works, how long is your propeller again, everything about your airplane is in this book and so you have to read through the book even though it is not that interesting but I think this definitely is not university level because there's people like get their private pilot lesson at age of 17 and and that's that motivates me like they can do it then I can do it so if they can do it then you can do it right so it's not really really difficult it's just this is a once production. you understand it you'll get it and then remember it the last thing would be the weather the weather is kind of a big part because I heard they say on check right they will pull out like weather charts and say is, is this go or no go decision you need to understand like three stages of thunderstorm like fronts, turbulence what is precipitation the cloud types and how high are the cloud types I'm sure you guys have learned some weather at some point I guess that's it I can only give examples and see if you guys if you guys are interested in becoming a private pilot so overall my opinion would be I think the knowledge part would be a little bit above the high school level again this is my opinion there's people at age so young and they got their private pilot license that's what motivates me and i think it can motivate you too if you want to fly just do it it's a really fun journey i think because i just started and i really really loved it once you get in the air and you get to see what's down there no matter what it is you will feel good if you love flying you'll get through it and if you don't understand anything you can ask other students at your flight school or your instructor or you can search online watch youtube videos i think youtube videos are very very helpful i hope this video gives you some insight about what kind of knowledge you'll learn in private pilot so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it helped you please like and subscribe and i will see you and your amazing self next time.